Can activated carbon be reused? Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of activated carbon and answer a very important question. Can activated carbon be reused? What is activated carbon? Before we address the main question, let's quickly understand what activated carbon is. Activated carbon, also known as activated charcoal, is a form of carbon processed to have small, low-volume pores. These pores increase the surface area available for adsorption or chemical reactions. Because of its high degree of microporosity, one gram of activated carbon has a surface area of approximately 3,000 square meters, 32,000 square feet, as determined by gas adsorption. How does activated carbon work? Activated carbon works through a process called adsorption, which is the adhesion of atoms, ions, or molecules from a gas, liquid, or dissolved solid to a surface. The contaminants in the water or air are attracted to the carbon material via chemical bonding or attraction. The large surface area of activated carbon gives it countless bonding sites, so it can remove a wide range of contaminants. Can activated carbon be reused? Now, onto our main question, can activated carbon be reused? The short answer is yes, but it's a bit more complex than that. Activated carbon can be reused through a process called reactivation or regeneration. This process involves heating the activated carbon to high temperatures, which removes the adsorbed pollutants and restores the carbon's adsorption capacity. However, this process can be energy intensive and needs to be done in a controlled environment to ensure safety. It's also important to note that not all types of activated carbon can be effectively reactivated. When should activated carbon be replaced? Despite the possibility of reactivation, in many applications, it's more practical to replace the activated carbon once it's exhausted its adsorption capacity. This is often the case with small-scale uses like water filters or air purifiers in homes. Replacement intervals can vary widely depending on the specific use case and the level of pollutants. To sum it all up, activated carbon can indeed be reused through a reactivation process, but it's often more practical to replace it. The decision to reactivate or replace will depend on the specific situation, including the scale of use, safety considerations, and the economic feasibility of reactivation versus replacement. I hope this video has been helpful and has enhanced your understanding of activated carbon and its reusability. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning!